Good morning. Welcome to the Wex Wake Up for Tuesday, April 2nd. I'm Christy Matino. President Joe Biden is set to visit Baltimore on Friday, days after the Key Bridge collapsed, killing six people and disrupting commerce. The news was confirmed by Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre yesterday. The president is continuing to lead a whole of government approach to the collapse. President Biden and his team are working with Governor Moore, the congressional delegation, Mayor Scott, and numerous state and local of officials to reopen the port, rebuild the bridge, and support the people of Baltimore. The bridge collapsed after a 200 million pound shipping barge collided into it. President Biden spoke last week about steps moving forward and rebuilding the bridge. I told them we're going to send all the federal resources they need as we respond to this emergency. And I mean all the federal resources. And we're going to rebuild that port together. Efforts are now underway to clear debris in order to reopen Baltimore's shipping port. And the government has approved aid for nearby small businesses affected. However, some have criticized President Biden for not visiting Baltimore sooner, very similar to East Palestine, Ohio, after last year's toxic train derailment. And a group of House Republicans are traveling to Israel this week. They will meet with Jewish and Palestinian leaders. The lawmakers say they will travel to, quote, learn more about the U.S.-Israel relationship, peace process, and important political and economic trends in the region. The trip will be sponsored and paid for by the American Israel Education Foundation. And it gives Republican lawmakers another opportunity to highlight the virtual unity on Israel. And Google will destroy a large amount of consumer data, all in an effort to settle a lawsuit that claims the Chrome web search engine was tracking incognito users. The settlement, which is valued between $5 billion to $7.8 billion, was hashed out in Oakland, California federal court. The lawsuit began back in 2020, spanning over 136 million users of the Chrome web browser since 2016. It argued Google was illegally surveilling consumers by misleading Chrome users in incognito mode into believing their data was private. As part of the settlement, Google is not paying any damages. However, individual users may sue the tech company individually for damages. Thanks for joining us this morning on The Wex Wake Up. Be sure to give us a follow on our website and social media so you stay in the know of all those headlines trending in politics.